Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David and today we're gonna to continue to look at building Boba Fett. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. If you don't know, this channel is just about my Star Wars fandom. I love Star Wars, I love the franchise. I've been with it since the very beginning. There's absolutely no hate here for anything. No hate for directors or actors or Disney, nothing like that. If it says Star Wars, if it's about Star Wars, I love it and uh, I wanna talk about it. So continuing my journey to build a close enough, right? A close enough, really, I mean, is it, am I gonna make it into the 501st? Probably not, probably not. They have really high standards. Uh, my standards are maybe just a little bit below 501st, um, but uh, I, I'm just trying to have fun, right? So there's been a couple of things that I've ordered and have been waiting for. Uh, my First of all, my rifle from the Imperial Gunnery still has not come in, uh, no word from them. So wish there was more communication, but uh, I'm just still crossing my fingers. Uh, the other thing was uh, my armor, of course. I've ordered all my armor. Uh, every Well, I have the backpack already but ordered the rest of the armor and uh, making payments on that. And I don't have a, I don't have a uh, deadline until January. So I got until January to finish paying them off. And I've even added to the order since I first placed it. I ordered a helmet and I ordered the shin tools. Um, I did order shin tools from Manowar and they turned out fine. I just don't love um, my paint job and there's maybe a couple things about, uh, well, some other details. I'll make a video about the shin tools for sure, and, and you'll and you'll see um, and hear all about that. But today, I wanna talk about the shoes. So, I placed an order with the shoes, and uh, I'm, I decided I'm not gonna say where I got the shoes from, only because um, I, I've had a lot of friendly help uh, from that company, and uh, they also, have made shoes for me in the past for other costumes. So I don't want to, I don't really want to shame them. And there really aren't a lot of companies out there making the shoes anymore. It is getting harder and harder to find these shoes. And so their photos up on the website looked great. They looked exactly like what I wanted. Waited forever for them to come in. They finally came in. I opened the box and I was, and I was a little like, the, I don't know if these are right, but I was just gonna put that fault on me and say, well, maybe I'm not, maybe I don't know exactly what the shoes are supposed to look like. And I quickly posted a picture uh, to my brother, who's an expert at Boba Fett, and he immediately fired back and said, those don't look right. The, 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 the cut on the sides doesn't look right, and are they made out of suede? Here, here's a picture of what they look like. Yes, they were made out of suede. And so I immediately threw the picture up on the dented helmet. The, the people there, very friendly. If you're not a member of the dented helmet yet, you should definitely become a member if you're building a Boba Fett costume. Um, they said the same thing. They said like, you know, the shape doesn't look right and they're made out of suede, what's going on? So I wrote back to the manufacturer and I said, this is what your production photos look like. You know, this is what your ad page looks like. These are what my shoes look like. It doesn't match up. And they were perfectly fine to remake them they paid for the shipping to send the other ones back. And so I wanna show you what the new shoes look like. This is what a pair of Boba Fett shoes should look like. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about the front, but as far as color goes, texture goes, the, the fabric, I really, like, I really like all of it. I like the fact that there's no visible zipper. Um, I like the coloring on it. I think this is definitely gonna work for me. Um, one of the things that I've had some people ask, some experts, and they were like, why does the, the toe flip up like that? Now, I noticed that on the other shoes as well, and this might be the only sole this manufacturer has. It's very possible. I've looked at other photos and um, other costumers, their sh and, and people who've made the shoes before, their shoes rest more flat on the ground, and that makes the toe spikes more flat on the ground. And I've heard from other Boba Fett customers that it's hard to walk in the toe spikes, that when you pick your um, foot up, those spikes can scrape on objects. So um, 
I was maybe a little concerned that I didn't like the toe and I was trying to say, well, how would I put the spikes on so that they work? Maybe I could, you know, you know, angle them a little bit. But then I was looking at my cardboard cutout and noticed that the toes were the same on that. You can see uh, his knee armor and then his uh, shin tools, spats, and then there are his shoes. One great reference is this book. And I would highly recommend if you're doing any costuming, uh, you definitely want to pick this book up. This is the Star Wars Costumes original trilogy book. And you can see just all the uh, attention to detail that you're going to get throughout the costume. You're really going to see all the different parts and all the different iterations of his gauntlets. You'll even see, you know, a picture of the back, which is crazy. What the... Um, Vest looks like without the armor, close-ups of the gloves, lots of different versions of the helmet, production photos. This is a great resource. So I guess the other thing I could do is I could put them on and show you how they look with the spats and the jumpsuit. So I don't have camera lights down there, so I can't really see how uh, bright these are coming in. But yep, left and right shoes. And you can see uh, where the toes go. They actually point lower right when i'm actually wearing them and putting some weight on them so i think when the spikes go on i think they'll be fine right and i put some of my uh painted shin tools in there got to figure out how to get the one in here to stand a little higher probably means packing the bottom of your pocket right that's what i think putting some stuff down in the pocket to make it pop out a little bit and also i'm return of the jedi uh boba fett and he doesn't wear all four shin tools so like i said i'll give you a i'll give you a video about that and i keep mentioning the toe spikes uh, they look like that so they would go on the front there uh, with some super strong glue and some uh, bolts some really strong nails that will go through the holes and then into the soles and then i'll put those on the front and then do a little bit of weathering, make them look like lived in universe, and then we'll be done with the shoes. All right, so that's everything. Uh, can't really talk a long time about shoes. <laughs> Not much else I can say. Uh, like I said, it's getting harder and harder to find uh, good makers of FET shoes. If you've had experience, if you've got some recommendations, or uh, you know of somebody who's still out there who still makes them, that's, that's the key, still makes them. Uh, please let us know down below, put some links down there uh, for everybody else so that we can use this as a resource. May the force be with you guys. I'll see you next time, bye.